Roger and Darvis actually liked your stuff? Color me impressed. Those guys have really high standards. Yeah, well, when you start buzzing, bro, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta love it. They were always giving Jack shit while he was here, but I can't really blame them. That guy was nuts. Personally, I was glad Jack got fired. I can't quite put my finger on it, but something about him always felt a little bit pervy to me. Every time I turn around, he was always looking straight at my desk and would turn away almost immediately. Maybe he had a crush. He it gave me the creeps like you wouldn't believe. Uh, I wouldn't. I wanted to tell him off forever to let him know that he didn't have a shot. Huh. The baggage just would have been too much before he left the office. Now that he's gone, I can confront him without the bullshit, but I guess I don't know if I was just reading the situation wrong or not. What do you think? Uh, sounds... doesn't seem that strange. Oh, wow, I don't know how to answer this. Um... That sounds creepy. It doesn't seem that strange. Let's say it doesn't seem that strange. Well, it doesn't seem strange. No, what other people are thinking. It doesn't seem that strange. Maybe you just wanted a friend. We don't know, do we? He did kind of... He, he did seem kind of lonely. Maybe he did just what... Uh, just wanted someone to talk to. Either way, he never really did anything. So I can't fault him too much. Right. Well, here's the sketch. You... You... What? Already? Damn. You're quick. Would you mind taking... Uh, it's Selvin for a final approach for me? I've got a ton more to do before I can leave. Yeah, sure. I guess it'll be good to show a little innovative initiative. Great. Here you go. He's probably in his office grabbing away on the phone. Gabbing away on the phone. But he gave you I wonder if I can look at it. Because I'm, I'm curious. Looks like a picture. Should I read over my cup? No. If everyone says it's good, it's good. Hey, sorry to bother you, Sullivan. I've got the ad pitch document. If you wanted to take a look over it, Oh, of course I do. What took you so long? Uh, there you go. Alright, let's see here. you got to be kidding me. I I Idlin Buzz Soda get buzzing, man? I mean, I've seen some amateur work in my life, but this is a joke. It's times like this it reminds me just how important Jack was here. You know, everyone else was like, dude, this is cool. But you? No. <laughs> it hurt me. Despite his recent behavior and vile, volatile personality, he was one of the best copywriters I've ever had seen. Part of me wants to offer him some work as an arm's length contributor to the agency, but I don't know if it, if it's worth dealing with his usual madness. Do you think it's worth my time offering him a chance to contribute, or would the effort spent manage, managing him be wasted of my own energy? 
it doesn't seem like he wants to do this. So, I say cut any losses. Um, yeah, yeah, I say you got any losses, but that's your call. Yeah, that's your call, man. I barely know the situation, let alone your history with the guy. Whatever your choice you come to is going to have to be your own. Yeah, sorry. It's just a tough decision to make. We've all got to face our problems alone. Though, I guess... Thanks for listening anyway. Right, so it's too late to change anything of this stuff right now. Even though it's awful, hey... It's... <laughs> Anyway, we'll have to hope the client likes it. So, can I get paid now? Pay? For this? God, no. God, no. It's always free. What? I wasted my whole day here. Waste is right. I could have crapped out a better work, but I had enough to deal with today already. Stuck Julie. Oh, hell. Fifty dollars sounds fair to me. Come back tomorrow if you want the client. Uh, see if the client likes your stuff. You get a pro bonus. All right. See you tomorrow, I guess. Whatever. Good luck with the pitch. If work like this, gonna need it. Mm. You. I'm pretty sure he's gonna say that about anything. Hi, Jilly. Sullivan sent me. He said I'm done for today and mentioned you'd be the one to pay me for my time. Oh, yes, of course. Um, I'm sorry if. if this day's been a bit of a mess. We're all just a bit frazzled after this morning. Oh, we really appreciate you stepping in. I don't know if anyone told you, but you really saved our butts. Without Jack's work done, we have no pitch. I honestly don't know what to do about Jack. He was a big part of our success in the early days. But something got the better of him along the, the road. Good work needs to be rewarded, but I don't know whether I can send him a letter of recommendation. He requested based on how he was fired. Sending the letter means overlooking his recent transgressions, but not send him means ignoring his talent uh, why 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 is it me <laughs> well either I can I don't know we are who we are today you need to forgive and forget Um, that's your choice. It's fucking. Whether you choose or recognize his prior success or not is entirely up to you. I really not qualified to make these kinds of decisions for you. You're right. I'm sorry for trying to shovel that burden. I just wish it was possible. For to look at the situation with fresh set of eyes. I appreciate your honesty. How did Sullivan say your bill was for us? Uh, 
I wish I knew like the proper setup. Fuck okay, is fucking fifty. I'll check back tomorrow. It's class pitch. Oh, it's often. I'm sorry. It seems unfair, but I'm bound by his decision. Yeah. I'll do what I can to make sure there's something more for you tomorrow. Fifty. Julie, you are you are quite the sweetheart. Uh, I should find some food while I can. I don't want to walk around on an empty stomach. Oh, shit, it's night. Well, I do have food. I do have that DMC. And a cup of coffee. Put that DMC though. The DMC though. Alright. You eat two DMCs, that's going straight to your ass. Okay, so, how am I looking? Two hundred and... Uh, I want to put like That's that's more comfortable in my opinion. Okay. So that was uh, I'm gonna get my apartment one day. Well, let's just go to our old, wonderful, freaking our old, wonderful little thing here. Maybe I should uh, I learned a little trick. Wait. Trick? Yeah. Oof. The fire here. Oh my lord, yes. Need a little bit more. Okay, I'm good. I'm full. I'm... I am good. Alright. You do you do you naughty boo. You do you. You do you good, naughty boo. Naughty boo na 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 naughty boo. Na 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 naughty boo. This alleyway is pretty shitty. Uh wait, that should save again. for that. Okay. Uh, appreciate it. Huh? Yeah, let's go. Uh, 
Might as well. Bleed it. Yeah. Probably gonna do that for every night. <clears throat> Ah, uh, good morning! I wonder if I, who I can call. Can I call that? No. That's not really hoping. Hey, you can talk dark ass, why not? Okay. So what do you do today, Naughty Boo? Naughty Boo Boo Goo. Is Arcade opening up? Opening pretty soon. Uh, anything else I can do around town here? Um, let's check out the theater. Bad idea. You know, it sounds fun. Just watch a movie and shit. But probably not good for Naughty Boo. We have things to do. Check out the hospital. Who knows, maybe there's like a few bucks lying around somewhere. Hmm? Ooh! Liam! Island buzz. Cause why not? I'd be buzzing, dude. So, um, again, just in case. Saving. Excuse me, Julie. Well, the place sure seems a lot quieter today. Some of them gave everyone the day off. It's something about wanting people to relax after the stress of yesterday. I don't know what changed him, but he really seems a lot more compassionate than he was, has been the pa in the past. Oh. It's almost like he had an 